Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the mean value theorem. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this critical thinking question. Use the mean value theorem to prove that absolute value of sine of a minus sine of b is less than or equal to the absolute value a minus b for all real values of a and b where a is not equal to b. Well, let's we'll start off this by saying let's let f of x equal to the sine of x. Okay? We have a function there. And we're going to use the interval Use the interval from A to B, okay? Well, what do we know about the MVT, mean value term? We know by the MVT that there is at least one C value, so at least one C value such that, let's apply the mean value theorem here. Mean value theorem tapes, states that our f of b minus f of a, okay, so f of b minus f of a, so that would be the sine of b minus the sine of a over b minus a is equal to the derivative of our function sine of x, which is cosine at our value c, so cosine of our c value, okay. So we have that written out here using the mean value theorem, derivative of sine, cosine, we're finding it at c. Well, what do we know about, well, our c value then, the cosine of c? Well, we know the cosine of c has to be less than or equal to 1 for all c. We know that because, remember how cosine, right, oscillates, right? It kind of does the... Um, uh, da, 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 like that, right? And it's between a 1 and negative 1. But the cosine of c has to be less than a neg uh, less than or equal to 1 for all values of c. Okay, so what do we know here then? Then, we know that cosine of c here, right, we can replace that to be with sine of b minus the sine of a over b minus a is less than or equal to 1. Well, from there, we know, okay, uh, that the absolute value, right, from there, that if we take the absolute value of everything, we can flip it around with the absolute value of sine of a minus the sine of b over a absolute value of a minus b here is less than or equal to 1. And so if we multiply that a minus b absolute value to both sides, we have the absolute value of sine of a minus sine of b is less than or equal to, if I fit in here, absolute value of a minus b here, and there we have it. We have what we were trying to look for here, and we've shown now how we've, or proven using the mean value theorem that absolute value of sine of a minus uh, sine of b is less than or equal to absolute value of a minus B for all the real values of A and B where A is not equal to B, and that is our final answer. I hope this video is helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.